guys, this is Toasty's Adventures, and I'm Toasty, and today we're going to be doing a little craft, and you're going to need some supplies, so you'll probably need a drill bit, you'll need a pretty small size drill bit, you'll need a uh, drill to drill that, um, you need some paints, it, paint is not necessary, you don't need paint, you need something for the lure, so like, I have a piece of copper, Pot copper pipe doesn't have to be huge. Doesn't have to be super wide. Just I found I literally found this in the parking lot. Also found this piece of copper in a parking lot. So this is gonna be something different. This one's got flattened, and I'm gonna be using it as like the head here, hook, hook, and kind of use it like that. And you'll probably need um, some pliers, and then yeah, that's pretty much what you need now. Let's let's jump into this and start creating our personalized lures. Okay, what I forgot to mention earlier was you're actually gonna, I mean, of course, if it's a lure, you're gonna need hooks, but, so you're gonna need hooks, try hooks if you're making these kind of lures, but then you're also gonna need these little round bead things right here that you'll need to attach, attach the hooks to the hole that you drilled into your lure and then also ones for like attaching your line i'm focusing there we go. ones to attach your line your line to the looper and then so once once you've got all that you can get your drill bit put in your drill and uh let's start drilling let's start with this one right here this one this one i always like I, i'm kind of i'm gonna use a marker just because i think but you can like mark it like that's gonna be the bottom because I saw that rough edge right there. I'm gonna put the bottom there, the top here, and then the second hook, like there. So first, second, and then line. So what you can do is just drill. So it may be tricky. This may where you're gonna need your pliers to come in. Just so like, like for this one, since it's round, it's going to be hard and I'm going to be having to put a lot of force on to drill it. So I'm probably going to want to like hold it like that and then drill into each hole. So let's start, let's start drilling. So I had to bring this outside because it's going to take a lot of force and it's going to be pretty hard to drill through this. So I had to take this outside, put on the concrete so I didn't mess up, mess up my table. Um, but let's do this. So, change in plans, actually. The drill was not working because it kept sliding off. So it kept like... So, I found something better. I was going through my dad's toolbox. I found these bad boys. And I tested it out. So I already did. I did one hole, and it made it actually like a perfect hole. Like I don't know if you guys see that. It made perfect. It was like absolutely perfect. So we're using these bad boys instead. I have no idea what they're called. Um, I don't know. They look like some sort of. It has a lock on it too. So like, and then you pull it back. But these bad boys, I just, I just wanted to make sure I didn't cut, because this is made of cut, I guess, really thick metal. And it, but you just put it like barely, barely on, and then you go, and you, know, you just kind of snip it, and it works really well. So, scratch this. We're using these. So now, let's get into cutting the other pictures, or the other, I said pictures. Let's get into cutting the other pieces. Now it's time for this one. Let's start to do this one. Okay, so I tried using on this, and because it's a double sheet, oh, I wasn't even pointing at the camera. I tried using uh, those, but because it's a double sheet of metal, it actually wasn't piercing that deep. It was only going like barely through both of them. So, I, you know how I said scratch that, 
scratch this um, screwdriver, but we're using it. So I think it will actually work. I think though I think those plier things actually work to help create a hole. That way this isn't sliding around trying to figure out something. So let's try to make this uh, work. So all it did, now this is probably the hardest part of the video, but all it did was like move the metal that was already broken off like to the side. Like this one kind of made like a bullet dent in it. So I'm gonna try using those, these pliers again. <laughs> so let's do that. Okay, finally, we got all of them. We got that hole and that hole. This is gonna be the back. And then we got that hole for the top. And then for this one, we got that hole and that hole. One for the back. One, or this is supposed to be the other way around. Back, like front hook, and then the where you'll place your line. I did have a problem coming into the back, which I don't know if you guys can see that, but it broke. Um, the metal, actually, I don't know, it's on this side, it's for the front then. Maybe this will be the front, but it will actually, no, this will still be the front, but it broke the metal piece. It kind of like just kind of clack, clacked, something like that, cracked through and it went and broke that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to use this. Maybe like put it back in place or something. Just to, there we go, it kinda, there we go, that was easy. Just It just simply put it back into place. And I think for the most part, a fish is not gonna get through this. Like you saw how hard it was for me just to make a little hole in this, it's not gonna get through that. But if you don't make any mistakes, then you won't have to run into that problem. But yeah, that's for this part. So this is probably the hardest part of the video. We got both of these. Now, since we've since we've made the holes, now let's go do the hooks and the anesthetics. Okay, now it's time to put on the hooks. So for this little guy, I'm using those two hooks in that ring. So this is the top front area where the where the line's gonna go. So, honestly, you also could probably get away with um, not even using one of these. Now, this is very sharp, so I would say probably you should use one of these just so, like, if you just tied it through there, this doesn't, like, whoosh, somehow snap your line. I mean, I guess you have, like, really tough line. So these are pretty, pretty sharp pieces of metal. But if you want to be extra cautious, we can use one of these and then just kind of snip it on so let's do that and then let's add these to each uh, corner okay so we got it that was really hard it was actually really hard so I'd suggest getting even though you may say oh I'm doing a small one I may I'll make the holes better um, get a large size of these because I was just using I took these off of a crankbait An old crankbait that I don't use but those are way too small and it was really hard to get them on And this one actually started to bend so I'm about to put a new one on later for right now I got it kind of better, but that's what this one is right here. So this one's all ready We'll move on to the next one Right now Okay, now that I've done that, I punctured the hole in this one too. And now that you've uh, punctured the holes in both of them, this one and this one, we can move on to the anesthetics. We'll do, um, we'll be painting them, but what color? Okay, so I got rope colors. Um, red, white, black, and silver. So I was thinking this one, I want to do something simple like white, 
and then a black spot for eyes on both sides for this one. And then this one I was thinking maybe a little bit more sophisticated. I was thinking also maybe on this one just do a silver line and that was it. But on this one, a little more sophisticated, white and then black dot for eye on both sides. Then like a line of red and then maybe a line of red again. And then with a line of silver and a line of silver for this one. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I'll start to paint that now. Okay, our final end products after it's dried. Bam. We made, we made our own fishing lure. And now please don't get mad at my uh, painting. I did the best I could. This will do great for its purpose. The fish don't really care. They just see the color and they go after it. But I'm really, I'm really happy with what was made here. I think it looks pretty good, in my opinion. It's gonna be cool. Like and subscribe if you want me to see do if you want to see me do more of this. Also, like and subscribe. I'm gonna make a video on me testing these out on this nice big lake that I'll be staying at for a while. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm Toasty. This is Toasty's Adventures. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys just have a wonderful day. Adios. I'm sorry that this was so late. Like this, it's been a while since I've uh, made a video. And I am sorry for all my subscribers that it's been a while. And anyone who watches this video, it's been a while since I've posted. I've been very busy. There so that's that. I had to improvise. I've also been doing some summer chores and things that I've wanted to do. I'm kind of into 3D modeling. But I've gotten some new fishing equipment, so I will be making another fishing video on fishing everywhere. Will be coming soon probably within the next two weeks. Um, other than that, I've caught you guys up with everything else. Um, just have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.